The skin is the largest organ in the body. The functions of the skin are protection, body temperature regulation, cutaneous sensation, metabolic functions, and excretion. Protection of the skin provides a barrier that protects the entire body. It serves as a cushion to guard underlying structures from physical forces striking the body. The skin is waterproof by a thin oily film of microlipids, which prevents the water loss of the internal tissues. Body temperature of the skin. The dermis contains an abundant supply of blood vessels. If the cutaneous vessels supply the skin, more blood reaches the surface of the body through the skin. The skin also contains sweat glands. These glands secrete perspiration which will evaporate due to body heat. Cutaneous sensation. There are numerous types of cutaneous sensory receptors that detect environmental stimuli. The layers of the skin contain receptors for touch, pressure, pain, and temperature. Sensory neurons in the skin send signals from receptors to the central nervous system for interpretation. Metabolic functions. Ultraviolet rays stimulate the synthesis of vitamin D in skin cells. Vitamin D is converted to other substances to regulate the absorption of calcium from the digestive tract. Excretion. The pers pers perspiration, small amounts of nitrogenous waste such as ammonia, urea, and uric acid are excreted through the skin. Up to one gram of waste nitrogen can be eliminated through the skin every hour. Tiny flakes of urea on the skin, called uremic frost, may be seen on individuals with various kidney disorders. The first layer of the epidermis, stratum basal. Stratum basal, deepest epidermal layer, the cells are dividing rapidly. The second layer of the epidermis, stratum spinosum. Stratum spinosum, cells contain thick bundles of intermediate fenomens made of pre <laughs> The third layer of the epidermis, stratum granulosum. In the stratum granulosum, there are two types of cells. The laminated granules, which contain waterproofing hypolipids, and keratinohyaline granules, and they form the keratin fibrils. At the upper border of this, this layer, these cells are beginning to grow. The fourth layer of the epidermis, stratum luciatum. Stratum lucidum, only found in the thick skin, translucent band of flattened dead keratinocytes. The fifth and final layer of the epidermis, stratum corneum. Stratum corneum, outermost epidermal layer, consists of 20 to 30 cell layers and accounts for the bulkiness of the skin. These cells in this layer are dead. Now we're going to label things on the skin. The hair shaft, the epidermis layer, the dermal layer, the hypodermis layer, the dermal papillae layer, the reticular layer of the dermis, a pore on the skin. Um, Eccrican sweat, sweat glands, erector pili muscle, sebaceous sweat or oil glands, hair root, hair follicle, blood vessels, hair bulb, adipose tissue, Those are the different parts of the skin.